Now, in the year of 2017, in the fire rooster, let's have a look at people that spawn in the year of the snake. Now, as you can see right here this year, there is really no auspicious star that's upcoming. But fret not, this is actually not the end of the world because we do have a solutions upcoming for you in a while. But of course, let's just take a quick look at the some of the not so good negative star that can possibly appear uh, in your chart. Yeah. So the first one we actually talk about is we have the Sky Warrior stars. This specifically talks about communication problem. It means that there are a lot of chances you could have let others, you know, mis kind of misunderstand what you really stand for or what you speak. So just make sure that you give clarity in the way of communication and that you should be doing just fine. Of course, we also have the White Tiger stars. Now this star specifically talks about traveling obstacles. So it means that while you are traveling, you should be very careful of, uh, you know, when you're driving uh, in case of an accident or while you're traveling, you should be careful of falling sick during the holiday travel or even traveling for work itself. So just pay more attention to this part generally that is nothing uh, too bad that you need to be worried about. Of course, we also have the broken stars. That's specifically something I need you to take note of. It's because the broken stars talks about one image is actually being suffered in terms of your reputation. So it means that whatever you're doing, as long as you're engaging with the public, you're engaging with a colleague, even in your work environment, you just have to be very careful not to have your personal reputation be on the line and generally you'll be fine. Of course, some of the other stars that uh, we really look at is, now you might be wondering if there's no auspicious stars, then what can really come and to save the day here. Now here's the good news now, the snake is actually a friendly sign uh, to the rooster. So what this tries to say here is, uh, you are likely going to tap onto social network, powerful people or even your co-workers that will actually be getting your job done for you this year. So this year is really all about you going out to socialize, to meet more new people, uh, especially the one that has all the better stars this year. Use them to your advantage and make sure that you collaborate well together and then the year will be riding just fine. Of course, in the 12 Chinese zodiac alone, whatever we have been discussing, it's only talking about the year, that means you're born in the year of the snake. But we do have a bit more than just that. Now in Chinese astrology, uh, we have this, it's called Pa Zi, or the four pillars of destiny. What we are trying to say here is there's more to that, you just have to plot based on the date of birth and time. To get a chart like that, you just have to visit our website www.kevinfoamcg.com slash 12 Zodic. Key in your date of birth and time, you will actually be checking uh, a chart like that and you can actually identify which is the one that having the sign of the snake. Of course, if uh, the snake actually falls under the month, that means you are born in the month of the snake. What this means that this year, your career, you need to be paying a bit more attention in terms of everything that you do. Now, in terms of your business luck, it is not wise to actually do a very big expansion. Now, should you want to do any major plan, you should always go back to the drawing board and do your homework again and make sure you research the market itself. Now, for the uh, if you're, you're having the snake that's born on the day pillar, so what we're trying to say here is relationship-wise, you may be misunderstood due to one of the stars uh, that is negative on the presence. It means to say that your spouse or your girlfriend or boyfriend might really misunderstood what you're trying to communicate with them. So what this means is you just have to improve in your way of communication. Let these people know that what are you planning and of course align your vision with them from time to time. Of course, if you're having the snake that's under the hour of pillar, uh, what we're trying to say here is this year, January, is not a very good year for you to be spending massively or rather building up your portfolio in investment. You should tread very carefully, especially in uh, months like in May and June. These are the very strong months where this will really come out. Uh, just make sure that your portfolio investment is uh, done, your own homework and everything is uh, done properly. All right. So of course, I'd like to also take this chance and opportunities to wish you guys a happy, prosperous and a wonderful 2017.